And now, it's time for Work Zero and Friends Halloween Happenings 2, our second volume in a JPN Ted Halloween. Join us as we present Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is show 8764, presenting Mort Zero and Friends Halloween Happenings, and we are having a great time. But first, let me tell you my rules and advice for a safe and scary Halloween. Don't go without your parents. Don't accept any apples, popcorn, or cookies for treats. Don't eat all your candy in one night. And don't play mean tricks on neighbors. Here's my list of do's. Do watch out for traffic. Do carry a flashlight. Do walk together. Do remember to say thank you and happy Halloween. And don't forget to have a good time this Halloween. What would be better than a scary song? But anyway, I'd like to start the song with this immortal classic. One thing that... I've life audiences for a long time. Um, what, what Frank Sinatra called the dumbest thing you ever heard. And Elvis, yes, the king himself, called the rap song of amazing. Now if you're out there, Elvis, I'm still here. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For a monster from a slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash, the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash, he did the mash. It caught on in a flash, he did the mash. It was the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east, to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abode to get a jolt from my electro. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. You caught on in a flash. It's not a mash. It's not a monster mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Roseland, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking over digging sounds. Igor on chain backed by his vain hounds. The coffin bangers from all about to arrive with a local group. They kept to the fight. It is the mash. It is the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash, it's not a mash, it's not a monster mash. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Open the lid, and shook his fist and said, What the happened by that brain twist? It's not a mash, it's not a monster mash, it's not a monster mash. It's a graveyard smash. You caught on in a flash, and it's not a mash. It's not a monster mash. Now everything's cool, Drax apart the band. And a monster mash is a hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was then too. When you get to my door, tell them Boris sent you. And, and you can mash. And you can monster mash. The monster mash. And do my graveyard smash. You'll catch on in a flash and do the mash. And do the monster mash. Easy, Igor. You're an impetuous young boy. It's not a mash. It's not a mash. 
And now I'd like to have John Paul sing a little song you do. And it's Stirring the Brew. Right <laughs> stirring and stirring and stirring the brew. Stirring the brew. Tip-toe, tip-toe, tip-toe. That's very good. And now, we'd like to present this year's Halloween classic. And we're, you, you're invited to partake in this little experiment. You see, we are presenting Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, Please, um, it might be a bit too intense and a bit too scary for some people. Um, we ask that if you have, if you're too nervous to see this, please leave the theater. You see, Dr. Jekyll is a philanthropist and physician, loved by all, and Mr. Hyde is early loathsome and plunges into all matters of evil. You see, Dr. Jekyll created a potion that, well, Ready to begin. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Every man is truly two beings, cursed with the struggle of good and evil within him. What would this duality be like, separated, each part living alone, the good companion, and then the pure and ugly evil of a man? Did you pull? Yes, Dr. Jekyll. Then come in, come in. Did you get the salt? Yes, sir. Finally, sir. But only three pounds of it. It was all the chemist had. Good. It will suffice. Then thank you, Paul. Uh, anything else, sir? Hmm? Oh. Well, no, 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 good then. Uh, I beg pardon, sir, if I may ask it. Uh, is the experiment nearly done? I think so, Paul. This time, I think it's really nearly done. Oh, splendid, sir. Cook will be glad to hear it, too. That's a good idea. Yeah, good night, good night. Yes, and a gram of salt. Oh, now, how could I know that? I'm a 
Well, it's strange, Jekyll, but if this is the way you want it, Hyde has captured my interest, Addison. His well-being is the one thing uppermost in my mind. I want to be certain, in case something does happen to me, that Hyde will be financially secure to carry on. Mm, I see. Well, all right, Jekyll, as you wish. The will will be ready for your signature in a few days. I'll bring it around, my sir. Splendid, Alison. Uh, now, what about that spot one? Uh, thanks, no. Uh, Dr. Langham's expecting me. Mm. He was only asking about you the other evening, Jekyll. We see you so seldom these days. Well, I've been rather hard at it from the laboratory. Sure you can't stay. Uh, another day. Uh, good night, Jekyll. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Wonder who the devil this Edward Hyde is. Mr. Utterson was the first of many Londoners who were to wonder about the hideous spectre like Mr. Hyde. Who were to fear the shadows of night because of him. One evening, nearly a week later... Again. 
Yes, 